when we did the house video, we remembered that we had all these boxes up here. Now, we want to get these moved before any more rain damages anything and to find out if we've got any treasures. <laughs> we made a very scary find. Get a pocket. Um, yeah, We've got a couple of old sieves. Good big nails, Dan. Yeah. We could play Prego with them. <laughs> right, I think I'm going to move the camera angle. Just in case that one was shit. Look at that, it's a wee puffer. letters or something here someone's handwritten love letters oh wow oh wow oh look we'll have to investigate these love letters huh? a little bit of bay in among the love letters oh, yeah. there's a whole bunch of it here if you're not standing underneath, I'm going to drop it down. Go. Such beautiful writing. I have no idea what this is. Right, do I come? Oh, right. Yeah, 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 come. It's coming down in the basin. I need to clear the ground. Okay. You can still smell the bay, Dan. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay, I'm afraid of these things. Be really careful there, Dan. I am. Here's a wash basin again. Okay. Yeah, got it. Right, I'm lowering down the TV aerial. Right, okay. It's light as a feather. Yeah. Now, you know how Louisa said that her aunt used to administer things? Her aunt used to what? Administer. Yeah. I think this might have been a medicine cabinet. Oh, wow. Oh. Well, it's a cardboard box full of little bottles. Now we keep hoping to find the stash of gold up here. <laughs> keep looking. Some very strange things in here. Yeah. So many keys. 
I've lost the box of keys now. I don't know where I put the keys. I think we're wrapped up there, Dan. Yeah. We've brought down these old boxes from the attic. We've been sorting through it. We found lots of interesting stuff. And one thing absolutely fascinating and scary, really scary. We're not even sure if we're allowed to show this on YouTube. Right now, we're going to unbox everything in real time. Stay with us and see what we find. Well, we've gathered an awful lot of stuff from the attic. Maybe there are some treasures here. Basin of little bottles, of little glass bottles. Some sort of dropper bottles. All sorts of... Weird. Weird medicines. That I've never heard of. Looks like a little, maybe it had a candle in it. Yeah, not it? resin, I think. Resin. So we've got quite a few of these odd shaped pieces of metal. And I've no idea what they're for. Let me see them. There's quite a few similar shapes to this. Are they laced onto something for protection of some sort? Oh, horseshoe. Lucky horseshoe. Oh, yeah. Are they a shoe for an animal, perhaps, or something? No. You know what these are? We want to know. There's loads of them, slightly different sizes. Now we also need a bag of actual rubbish. Vineyard of Porto. Oh, I thought I just put them away. I found two of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a year on it. Oh, here we go, look. We got the horn. Oh, the horn! Oh, wow! Oh, yeah, we got the horn. This is cool. Yeah. This is... I think I could give this a wee bit of a clean. Yeah, I know what this is. I'm going to do what your mother would do if there was a bit of dirty stuff on your face. More glass. Yeah, it's horn. So is this the horn of plenty? Actually, it's stuffed up with some sort of bit of newspaper. Certainly. So what do you think? Oh God, do you know what this might be? What? An early enema. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a. No, I think. Not an open end. Um, it's all eaten, but I think this might have come back from Africa, Africa from either Angola or Mozambique. Hmm. Could be something like that. Anyway, this goes into the treasure chest. Some of the wood. I'm going to just throw that threat balcony. Moochy cedar. No idea. Doesn't look very nice though. Um, that sounds like an insecticide. Yeah. Anything with it is cedar. Scrap scrap metal. Metal. Cedar. Mm. Cassabro. It's got a big poison thing on it. Yeah. Or something. More bottles of poisonous stuff. Yeah, they need to be disposed of separately. ICI Plant Protection Division. Mm. Poisons. Poison. Oh, that's a weird jug we've got here. Yeah. Bit broken this one, but we'll still keep it. This is my favourite thing so far. A clog. It's all wood. Wooden sole, wooden insole. Do you think that would fit? This? Oh, like it's my wooden, size. Is it the pestle or the mortar? The mortar's the thing you put stuff in, the pestle's the thing you grind with, isn't it? Old, rusty old oil lamp. Do you want to keep this? 
Yeah, you might find the bit of glass that goes into it very easily. Here's another piece of metal. Another wee bit of an oil lamp. Well, we're lamp. talking about lamps. And here's another bit of an oil lamp. Oh, yeah. There's a few bits. Always more bits of engines or something. Yeah. Scrap. Yeah. And this right, let's have pump. A look at that. You the pump. That. Yeah. You do that one. Because I think that's the one that yeah. we've run over. But it's bronze. Brass. But bronze, copper, something like that. I reckon this is part of a pump, maybe a uh, uh, pressure pressure vessel to maintain some water pressure. Broken off on here. I'm not sure what we can do with this. But it's in its own little original box, but with instructions. Look. Let me get round here. So this was the box. This is the bottle. There we go. Oh yes, it's a beauty product. Product. Not Conserve and prolong your natural beauty or something. Now it's easy to conserve and prolong your natural skin. A man can rub it under his armpits or put it on his face. We're clearing here. So we know what these are. Um, very fine sieves. That have lost their civvy bit. Got Actually, this one was handmade, Dan. Mm. Look, it was even patched. Yeah. Look, can you repair these? Because the actual sieves yeah, are in good shape. Yeah. Condition. Yeah. I don't see why not. It's a wee bit clearer. Let's see what we've got in this. Yeah, that one I'm a bit worried about. I think this is. Poisons. Oh, this is acne medicine. Oh my goodness. Fire vet. Um, this is um, something you might not want to Ooh, find yeah, look at that. near your body. Yeah, yes. oh. A bullet. Okay. I think this is something to do with making wine. Soft wheel. Light bulbs. What's that? Something part? to do with an engine. Straighten yeah. the, the scrap metal. Yeah. And this is all, all bullets. All bullets. Okay. Well, and Love a pen. You get the bullets with the pens. Of course. Hmm? They kept the bullets with the pens. Of course. I think this is to do with making wine, but I'm putting it in the poisons. Well, bullets, the bullets, can they go into <coughs> the scrap or are they filled nah, with something? No, they've got gunpowder in them. Oh, have they? Well, they've got to go to the scenario. Yeah. <clears throat> Better not throw them. What's no. that yoke for? Uh, the scrap metal. I'm a bit scared of the bullets. There's an empty case that can go in the scrap. Yeah. Right, better not throw the bullets away then. Um, that's... Yeah, there's sulfur in here. That's yeah. used in wine making, isn't yeah. it? Or, 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 or rather, putting the grapes. There's, um, for going out to work on mm, the field. The flask. That's quite interesting. We'll of course keep that. <coughs> Another bullet. <laughs> this is a good one here. What's that? Three days late for you. Let's see what's inside. Wow! A lot of things. Yeah. Oh, cool. And a and an extra one. Or is that broken? No, that one's broken. 
you so you know where that one can go. Okay, do you want to put these clippers um, back in the box? That they back in the box yeah. for restoration. Yeah. There's another wee box for you. <clears throat> Dan, is there anything? Oh, a wee cross for, for with Tim. a pin on it too. Mm -hmm. So these boxes were all wrapped up in plastic. And this box is actually in reasonably good condition, but it must be something important. Oof, a bit dusty. Keep that bag in case it has to go back. Oh, uh oh, what does that say? Oh God, I think I know what that is. What? Can you see inside? Don't touch it. Oh yeah, so do I. Yeah. I see a word in there that I'm a bit scared of. Are we? Oh. Do you think that uh, is gunpowder? Gun oh, ah. sweet Lord. Oh my goodness. Bombardera. Oh, let's have a quick... oh, I see black stuff coming out of that. Black. Yeah, yeah that's the... gunpowder. Don't touch it, Dan. That's got to be highly unstable. What, what do we do with that? I don't know. I need to take that to Gino or something. I bet you that's the same. Yeah. Oh, my God, wrap it up. Don't touch it. Is that gunpowder? I don't know, Dan, but... You need to look at what... Yeah. Let's see if I can do it, if I can get any into Polvora it. Polvora Bombardera. Oh my goodness. One kilogram. What is the word? Polvora, which is like powder or... Yeah, po is usually the word in Portuguese, but then it might have come from somewhere else. Society, it's African Society of... Something. Polvora. Right. Polvora. I'm going to find my translation. P O L V O R A. R A. Polvora. B O M B. A R D E I R A. A R D I. The translators. Blasting powder. Blasting powder. That's for doing the rocks. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, I'm scared to death. Blasting powder. Oh my God. Jesus, right. I think we'll put we're that not allowed to put that out on YouTube either. Why not? Because it's forbidden. It's firearms and guns. Yeah. I think we better take that to the GNR yeah. tomorrow. Oh my god. Right, do I pass that other bag over? I'm just over there. Oh, I get my gloves back on. I'm a bit terrified sitting here with it too. Blasting That's three powder. flipping kilos of the stuff. More than that, isn't it? At least. Well, not that, that's the chemical. All right. <laughs> well, yeah, this is the way. Oh, this one? Yeah, that one. Oh, this is going to be the same, isn't it? It might be. Right, this bag was with the last bag. So let's have a look and see what it is. Oh my god. This beautiful bottle. Well, you know what these are? These are cartridges. And there's quite a lot of empty ones here. Yeah, so we can throw them in the bin. Presumably packed his own cartridges. Yeah, everybody did then. The, but there's a little, and they do in, a little rod for ramming, ramming the, the gunpowder in. Or is it? No, maybe not. It's too thick. That's for the, the rifle. Maybe. But yeah, I think most of these are empty. It's the sweet box here. Oh yeah, this is this is always nice to have. 
Oh no, Barcarena. Yeah. Barcarena. So this is another Fabrica mili Military. Explosives. Polvoras e Explosives. <laughs> Oh dear, from 1936. Oh, I'm, I have to say, I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> and I'm a wee bit nervous. This one's wrapped up. They look like they were bought. They're a full one, they're a full one. Yeah. There's all the full ones over here. Where? For and going to the or something? Yeah. Right. I mean, do we put all the empty ones in the scrap this way? Lumps of brass on the end of them, aren't they? Yeah. A fair bit of brass too. That's a full one you picked up there. Yeah, I felt the weight of it. It's full, sorry. That's quite a lot of full ones actually. Mm. What's this box? More cartridges. Oh, this no. is shot. Lead shot. Yeah, they go into the shotgun cartridges. Yeah, yeah, of course. But what the explosives are, I don't know. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I don't think we can show. What are those wee bits for? No idea. Right, what do you want um, to do next? Right, I think I'm going to take one of these wooden boxes and put the explosive powder and bullets into it. Other tins. Bit of a horse. Uh, 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 uh. Here's more. All scrap metal bolts. Cloud time. Done. Any of these bolts of any use or just. No, nah, scrap metal. Oh, no yeah, I want to keep that. Okay. That's a complete tool. Mm. I want to know what it is. I think it's for killing something. Paint brushes. For the artist in the family. Yeah. Another paintbrush, this is all rubbish. To hold a pipe or something down. I'll mm. keep that. Well, if you want to keep it, you could try not try to move along with this stuff down there. We'll be here until tomorrow. Oh nice. Nice. Look what I found. A nice wooden, a wooden um, room. Measuring, measuring stick. stick. Measuring. I think it needs a wee bit of W D forty. Now that. Isn't that nice? What's that a lump? Locks and keys. Oh, they're cool, aren't they? What was that? Oh, stone. Oh, locks and keys. Yeah. Where's the tray? Do you want to keep these hinges? Yeah. How oh, do you know what this no is? Idea. It's made of wood. Anyway, we're keeping it. But if you do know what that is, let us know. I think this might be a trap or something yeah. like that. Oh, here we go. What? Bell! So what is that? That is a magic wand. Star Wars. May the force, force, force <laughs> be with you. Oh, we'll have to keep those. Yeah, I found another one of those, um... Pointing things. Oh, spurs! Oh, is that what that spurs. is? Spurs! Isn't that a spur? Yeah, good boy, yeah. Well, that's the teeniest, weeniest wee spur I've ever seen. Got that for a nail. <laughs> it's like a big mushroom. That's beautiful. Yeah, we'll keep that, I think. On a wee bit of a hold now, and a break. Yeah. Weird hinge. Motorbike chair. What's this stamp? Just... What is it made of? Yeah, hey, you know what this is? That's a dynamo. <laughs> What's that? Is that metal? Yeah. What is that? Oh, well, that's something to do with, it's the same, um, something butterfly, it's to do with, where's that triangle, plow thing? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's the same brand. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Not that way anyway. Look. Like that. No, not like that. I don't know. We need to ask. Hmm. So we've got this. This is very heavy. It's a number five. Tramagal. And this is another Tramagal. We've got another one of those. Yeah, we have. That's a big hinge. But it's not, is it? It is. That's a hinge. Yeah, this hinges, but that's not, doesn't bolt onto a door or anything. Is that, what's, the, what's the material of this part? All metal? Yeah. That's a hinge, Dan. Look, there's another one. This one? Yeah, this hinges. Yes, and you know what these do? These go into the wall. This part must go into the wall, the stone oh, wall. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then this is a hinge for the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know how you yeah, see them? Yeah. Or they go bolted through the wood or something. Anyway, I'm not 100% yeah. sure, but maybe somebody else but will. Yeah, there's keep another these. one here as well. Look, there's another one. Look, aren't these so cool? So. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Do you think it might I'm still work? It. No, I don't think I want to put my lips around it. Are you going to give it a wash? Yeah. More films. But we've got two spurs. Yeah. Another key. Look at this for a key. Look at the whole box of those over there. They're so cute. A key tin. They're very small spurs, Dan. Yeah. If you look closely, you can turn them into little chickens. Look. Hello. Look. Right, we... oh, some kind of a Maybe we make it two chickens. Pencil. Pencil or a stencil? Yeah. An HB pencil made in England. Look at that. Pencil. So that's made in England. What else did I find? Something was made. Oh, yeah. The Dynamo Miller is made in Scotland. See here? I think this might be German. This harmonica. All the razors in there. Hey, I see this. Is in the bin? What is That's it? part of an oil lamp. The locks all need to be kept down so they can go on to the doors, even if they never work. We'll have to find which key fits these locks. This goes in the wine barrel. That can go in the treasures department. We have a, a belt. Do you think it would fit me? God, it's a bit minging. There's a bit another kind of bit of all of that. I bet you this was a man's and I'm too chunky. Mm. They look so <laughs> spelt and fashionable. Do you want a bit of moolie? No. Nope. Uh, Half a moolie? Half a moolie. No, thanks. A nice little canister. It's kind of 1970s blue like the boat used to be. Yeah. Nordland. Go. Got another one of oh, these for very you. good. You're saying it's for me as if you're being <clears throat> a wee bit kind of weird about it. Mm. Oh yeah, you collect those, don't you, Maria? Weird things. <laughs> they are beautiful, those hinges, Stan. Look at them. Look. You could play castanets. <laughs> and you can do the harmonica. Yeah. And I'll put my belt on. They all look like good stuff. That's a nice bolt. I bolt. That goes into the, the wall. Yeah. For keeping you're putting stuff away and I'm rescuing it again. It's a big hammer a heavy thing. It's a broken, broken spanner. <laughs> Wrap that. 
They're, they're yeah. not used to man or beast. They're no. pure scrap. Do you think we've earned enough for a couple of cups of coffee? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think we've earned enough for a couple of cups of coffee? Yeah. <laughs> so it's a little key. No idea what that is for. Now we do not have these type of shells here. Although maybe they had them for food. But they have had little holes drilled out of them. So I'm guessing maybe at one time it was a his and hers romantic. One for me, one for you. If you are at sea, I shall be waiting. Some might balder dash like that. <laughs> or maybe it was two sisters or something. But I think these were necklaces once upon a time. So I'll keep those. Right. Right, I think I'm gonna get rid of the scrap metal. Right. Okay, so I think we'll wrap that up. We've got a fair bit for the rubbish bin and a fair old pile for the scrap metal man. When we went to the GNR, the police, they looked at the pictures and they said, well, we're not really sure what this is. We need to come with you back to your house, look at it and find out if we need to call in the military. And at that moment we thought, oh my God, the bomb disposal unit. Oh, we're back in the car. Well, now you can see we're being escorted by the GNR, where they will decide if the explosives team need to come out. em uma quinta munição que já tem o projeto fora do do evoco. So, we were kind of excited but scared to death. In the end, the police as you saw escorted us back to the quinta and they decided that we weren't going to have a little preventative explosion or a big explosion. It could have been a really good YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> But thankfully, there was no fires in this area. The house didn't blow up. Um, I mean, it could have been horrendous. Four kilos of the stuff, but that in itself wasn't so bad. It was the loaded Kalashnikov bullets. Yes. Um, and they said the bullets weren't normal rifle bullets. They were possibly, they were definitely military issue. Yeah. And that's where the main concern was. So having the powder in itself wouldn't have been too bad, but neither of us hold a gun or ammunition license. So it's illegal for us to have this stuff in the property. However, they did tell us that although they were going to take it away, that wasn't the end. And now we're waiting to hear from the judge. If the judge decides he needs to talk to us, or she, then we'll be contacted for the court hearing. Well, at that moment, I just thought, I can't believe this. So, if you don't see any videos for a few weeks, send us a postcard. That's it for this week. Um, it's been super exciting, and we'll see you next time.